Our next caller is Harry Hammond from Maidenhead. Hello, Harry. Hello, yes. I'd like to ask your guest Merlin, is it? Mervyn. Yes. I've recently been diagnosed with a food allergy where I'm not allowed to eat brassicas, pitted fruit or nuts. Yes. Um, that's known as Gray's allergy, I believe. That's right. That's correct. Yes. And have you had um, drowsy tinklings connected with that? Yes, I have a lot. You get a feeling, a sound in your ears like there's beetles buzzing inside your head. Right. And allergy is obviously not the same thing as food poisoning. An allergy is an autoimmune disease where your body is overreacting to something. A little like the previous call with the vindaloo. No, that was overindulgence. Right. So, sorry, what was your question, Henry? Well, I just wanted to say I've got this shooting pain in the heel of my foot and I wondered if that could in any way be connected to... Absolutely no way. Food allergies are very unlikely to manifest themselves in your foot. Right, uh, we've had lots of emails on this subject. Uh, here's one from Elaine Clay, who says she has a severe eating disorder and it's no picnic. Uh, we've got one here from Brian Worth, who says he loves his food. And we've had one from Ahmed Hussein, who says God is great, God is great. Right, my lovelies, you join me in Stigbert von, get the seatbelt in, Thundercock. And we are off on this Tuesday afternoon. We are off to um, slightly appease the vengeful gods of the overdraft. Possibly purchase a new, very cheap pair of work shoes that haven't got holes in the bottom, which is a current feature of my present ones. And turn old Stiggy's wheels over and get his doing circulating and his battery. Oh, hello. What's going on here? There's a man in the road testiculating. What's that noise? Oh. You know how much I hate having to go into town or anywhere near town, but hey-ho, needs must. Ugh. All clear? There we go. Right, and according to my digital display, it is 16 degrees C in the middle of July. Lovely. Possessing shopping area rather lacks the scenic splendour of my normal choice of post office, but this one is near to the economy shoe shop, so right, let's go and get this done. Okay, that's done. Half of this mission that I in no way whatsoever will enjoy, quite the opposite, but that's 50% of the objective accomplished. Right, we can't get out that one, can we? We have to go out this way. It was a very late night last night. 
we didn't finish the live stream until 20 past one in the morning. And, uh, you know, still needed to cook my supper and all of that. It must have been a very, very late one. Um, the evidence suggests that I just abandoned last night and went to bed. Left half a glass of wine. I never do that. Well, I seldom do that. But it was a cracking live. The, the numbers were superb. Some lovely new community members. Yeah, you just pull out, mate. You're okay. In your big old of love. There's no fun in driving on these roads, is there? I get spoiled with my lovely uncluttered roads. Look in that veranda thing there. Looks like there's a forest growing in it. Oh, that's nice. Gives a bit of privacy and makes you feel like you're in your garden when in actual fact you're on the balcony of a first floor council flat. Fair play. then as we head into another shopping area. Gosh, it's busy. The thing I remember most about, we'll go, we'll go around here. The thing I remember most about the last time I was here were the amount of rats. It was like rat central. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, that's that done. And that is a job well done. I had to stop wearing the current shoes as um, they were crippling me. The bottoms were whole, they were through. It was, oh, they were horrendous. That's why for the last couple of weeks, You've seen me wear, not wearing my black sooty, jackety thingy, because I didn't have any black shoes to to wear with it. Well, not shoes that I could use without crippling my feet. Never mind, we've got some now, and that's why I wasn't at the Yard of Dreams yesterday. I, I sacrificed my day with mustard, so I could afford to buy some shoes. That's life, darlings, isn't it? You have to, uh... Oh, what are you doing? Go on, get on with it. You have to make compromises sometimes. But, I can go to work properly dressed tonight. That'll be nice. Right, let's get out of here and get back to... Get back to somewhere a lot more scenically splendiferous. And with fewer people. What time is it? It's 10 to 2, so I can be home in time for a late but welcome lunch.
some relative warmth. Right. Uh, let's get Stiggy parked up. And let's get some lunch on the go. You won't go too far wrong in it. Turn before you think that you need to. There we go. Excellent. Okay, my lovelies, you join me further down the road in the Honourable Sheeson. And I've decided that, yeah, the Honourable Sheeson is going to go to work tonight. Time he had his uh, wheels turned over. Oh. Definitely time he had his wheels turned over. He doesn't like being left, you know. He doesn't like being left. Leave him for a while and he'll cough and splutter. Sorry, I keep calling him he, they. For those of you who aren't aware, the Honourable Shisern is the first openly non-binary Rover 25 known to mankind. Now we're gonna crack the, oh, did I say crap then? I meant to say crack. We're going to crack the sunroof open because miraculously, it's begun to feel a little bit cooler. Okay. Right, come on then, Sheeson. Oh, let's go. Yep, you can hear there's a bit of crap on the brakes. They need the wheels turning over, don't they? It's like leaving Matron in bed too long with her flashing nibs. Leave her in bed too long and she struggles to walk to the lavatory. Regular action, that's what's needed for Matrons and Rovers. Well, one thing's for sure, my lovelies. Oh, another thing for sure is that we're gonna need to uh, Wesh the old windscreen, are we not? Oh, and I think Sheeson's the other one that I fitted with new wipers, aren't they? Let's have a go on them. Lovely. Lovely. Yeah, one thing for sure is August, darlings, is going to be fun. There are going to be things happening on a weekly basis. I can't say too much, probably said too much already, but things have been booked. Oh yes. And of course, before August comes next week when I'm going to have the pleasure of the lovely Neil and Sophie's company. So, Lots of things to look forward to, my loves. Lots of things to look forward to. I mean, in case you were wondering, yes, I am wearing the new shoes. And yes, they're lovely and comfortable. Comfortable, my lovelies. Comfortable. 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 Horses. turned into a lovely evening. 
That was unexpected. It's been a right manky old day, hasn't it? Now look at it. Well, I never did said sunlight soon. What a joy it is to be driving Shison again. Right, I'm going to get the wirelessness on and uh, see what's happening in the world. Greetings, Honourable Bridge. So, here's a little update for you, darlings. Work has started upstairs. Now, this work is being done by the landlord. We're not involved in it in any way, shape or form. And I don't even know what the landlord's intentions are. The one thing that we can pretty much certainly rule out now is that um, he's considering selling the entire building to us and if he was going to sell it he would sell it to us um, so pretty clear that's not happening because if he was going to sell it to us then it would be sold as is and you know we would take on the responsibility for the work so <clears throat> I don't know whether he has got um, well, I don't know if he's got a, a sale on the upstairs only, or if he's got a prospective tenant, or whether he's doing the work and then we can have it. And uh, of course, I've got my, um, I've got my planned Airbnb idea. So, um, yeah, so I honestly don't know. I mean, it makes sense to get it done. It's, it was just getting worse and worse up there. Um, and uh, it's obviously not bringing in any revenue for him. So it makes sense to get it done. Uh, I don't know the guys that are doing it. Our guys went in and quoted between 60 and 70 grand to get it up to speed. Um, I'm guessing that, I'm guessing that. <laughs> Do you want to say hello, Ron? Hello, everyone. <laughs> What are we doing here? They refurnish in the office stay in that flat. Maybe they are all new, doing new. Well, that's what I'm telling them. Yeah, that's, that's what new. I'm telling but them. But in the office stay. I'm uh, telling them that we don't refurnish. know what the, the plan is, but that I'm, I'm hoping that we can have it. Maybe they do, they given something for Airbnb or otherwise they given uh, agency or something. I don't know. I'm not. I don't have any clue. No, we'll find out. We'll find out in due course. Yeah, so there we go. Um, don't know what's going to be happening up there, but um, let's keep our fingers crossed that, uh, that it could be something positive for, well, for me, really. For a minute. Right then, my lovelies, it is time to very much well, quite frankly, go home. And I haven't said this for a while. Tonight was unexpectedly busy. Pretty much all of last week was a washout. Tonight, restaurant virtually full. Oh, um, right, you can't see. I'm looking up. They're still... I don't know what time they work up there until, but the lights are on. Stuff is happening. So, oh, I hope I can get my hands on that place. None of us know, well, I think Ram was saying, wasn't he? We don't, we've got no idea what the landlord's intention is. He knows that we will either 
buy it or lease it but maybe when he spent all the money on doing it maybe he won't want to do that maybe he will want to um, maybe he will want to rent it privately like before through the agents and get a better return I don't know but we will find out won't we in due course but fingers crossed I I love that little Airbnb idea I think it would do I think it would do well right I'm going to catch up with the uh, with the old news I'll catch you guys later here we go past the possibly abandoned Winnebago still no signs of life still hasn't moved and up the hill we go to home dear old windy bum love from me and I look forward to seeing you next time. But you and indeed, bosh. No stereo noises in this one. Alright darlings, bye bye.